Alrighty. Let's see. Hello everyone, this is Robert Stoll, Stoll Review, and this is just sort of a quick sort of test screen of Google, uh, I mean, YouTube Gaming. I'm not going to be really doing much. I apologize for my absence, but there's sort of uh, several different things I wanted to do with this stream. Um, it's kind of impromptu, so I don't think many people will see it, but case we'll just kind of keep it short and I'll just sort of explain a few things. So primarily what I want to do or at least what I want to do here in Minecraft is you know since I'm going to be crafting anyways I have a big project I might as well use this opportunity to try and test and get some things cleared out of the air because I am sort of gearing up for a big, big sort of uh, revival, if you will. It's <laughs> I say that every couple of times I start getting inactive, but uh, yeah, I really do want to come back, especially since there's a lot of things happening on the scene that I think needs to be covered. So anyways, in terms of Minecraft, um, basically, this is all the stuff I have in this world. And... Oh, no, it's not going to be. And so what I've done is, since I basically cleared out this giant valley to make room for trees, as you can see here, I have a lot of excess material. And so I had initially built this structure to house basically be my storeroom. However, I started filling that up with all the extra coal ore that I had gathered to mine and I decided I really wanted that space for that. So um, this used to be filled with chests. This is my main area, but it doesn't have much room. And on top of that, it has my bedroom and my uh, library section up here. So I kind of want to reformat this into a sort of area to Greet people, you know, I've never been very artistic, so I've never put a, like an art gallery in a Minecraft before or anything like that. So I kind of want to do that with this space, something decorative rather than utilitarian. So in essence, I'm going to have to really rebuild this area, which includes finding a different way to get down to my uh, mine shafts, as you see down there. So the plan is to recreate this sort of structure in there because this has room for one, two, three, four, five, at least five chests on a single level. And as you can see, it can go infinitely up. And this is about as high as that, a little bit more. Um, but yeah, so essentially try to build an extra little storage place right behind my entrance area so that I can uh, better store stuff and have more expandability in case I go on any other large earth shattering uh, restoration projects, or not really restoration projects, but... Uh, you know, I start taking giant chunks out of the earth again, and I can't do much with that. So, what I'm going to do, however, in sort of testing the stream is uh, talk about what's been happening, talk about future plans, try to um, see if I can't get some, you know, uh, comments going here and hopefully hopefully I we can basically just talk about what this channel is going to be in the future and what maybe if people catch on what people would like it to be in the future so for now I'm gonna go grab my trusty pickaxe 
And yes, I am kind of a lazy player. I do uh, cheat. You'll possibly see me sneak into creative mode there and uh, fucking fix tools, but that's just because, hey, diamonds are, aren't all that common, even in the uh, ratio I've put them here in my custom world. So, yeah, so, I mean, there's that. Um, in any case... So, what has been happening with the channel as of late? Well... I'm not very proud to say this, because it's, it's a bit, I mean, asking someone to proclaim their shortfalls is always a bit tough for an individual, but unfortunately I have a rather big shortfall in that I'm, well, I'm really a fucking uh, well, procrastinator. You could say, I don't, I can commit to a project for a little while and then I just end up slacking off and it's all very, very uh, destructive to any sort of schedule I have, especially when, for example, uh, real life starts getting away, so school and stuff like that, I, it really, a lot of my drive gets lost. And I really don't want that to happen to this channel because people have been really digging this channel. And um, you know, thank you for the 71 subscribers who have continued to put up with with my inactive bullshit. Because that's really not something I uh, I really want. Um. That being said here, sorry, just checking the stream health and it says experiencing some minor errors. I'm sorry for anyone who will be watching this gameplay. Uh, it's Yes, this is rather, uh, this is going to be rather interesting. Um, but anyways, back on topic. The state of the channel is basically that I am you know I'm still very active on the scene and say uh, YouTube but uh, I mean in Facebook but not so much here on YouTube because well all sorts of factors but number one factor is my is the whole laziness factor that being said I really want to get back into the swing of things and uh, so, one thing that I was, I'm really going to get back in the habit of doing is doing more constant, constant streams, excuse me. So, uh, I hope to host one this week. It'll probably not be the normal cast. So, you know, normally we have Frozen and Samantha and those kinds of people on, but... Again, things have happened in their lives. In their lives, uh, they're all extremely busy, or in some people's cases, they just kind of have moved on from this all. And you know, more power to them in that case. But that does mean it's going to be a anything going forward is going to be a bit more open air. That being that it's going to be a more of a call-in kind of experience maybe you could put it or you know something like that where it's going to be a lot more random people it's not going to be a bunch of normal normal faces hopefully and yeah that's going and that i feel is something that a lot of people initially enjoyed and so i want to you know kind of just get back on that bandwagon so to say. That does mean, however, that 
it's going that things are going to be a little sporadic for a while. I'm going to be trying to get some more uh, you know consistency, but for now, one two, one two, one two three four. Uh, I think I'll I think I'll do this. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so that's one. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Three, four. Okay, I'm going to have to expand that a little bit. I'll just take off here. Mm, excuse me. So, anyways, I'm going. So, look. So, look. Look for announcements. And if you really, and if you really want to get involved, uh, you can contact me in many different places. I'm still on Twitter to a certain degree. I'm still on not Google Plus as much, but I know some people prefer that. And so yeah, that's going to possibly continue and or hopefully it does anyways. Um but that's the, but that's the state of the live streams essentially. They're going. They're going to happen. It's just going. It's just going to be a really interesting time trying to uh, get all that organized again. The other parts I want to continue, of course, are the parts are are, are the solo commentary videos, and those I'm thinking about switching back. I know I, I know in previous videos I've made a big deal about going into the future and trying to get my face on camera more because it's more exciting, but it's honestly a lot more efficient for me, I feel, to not do that. If anyone's particularly heartbroken over not seeing my my face, I mean that's a I, that's something that's something reasonable to bring up. But in general, uh, doing sort of the what what I've been doing in the past, so getting calling, so basically doing some title cards and doing so, and then showing static images over that is really what's going to uh, be most economic for me at this point, and so I want to continue with that format, so to say. Open, it's nighttime. And yeah, I mean there's not there's not so much more to say on the subjects of plants and so forth, except for that yeah, just a lot ha a lot has uh happened just generally in the media um, especially considering Gamergate and everything like that and it's and I just want to apologize for not being as active as I should be it's not it's it's very well I'll put it I'll put it this way it's It's kind of, it's kind of difficult to keep up uh even something as sim as as simple as I do when there's just so much bullshit happening and between things like the Gamergate ultras going belly up or at least in terms of my involvement in terms of you know getting some new games you know I got I've been getting re um I recently got Lego Dimensions, really enjoying that, especially for a uh, Lego game. It's not necessarily a step forward or anything like that, but it's 
really it's a, it's a really enjoyable game if you ask me but that has sucked up my time as well as skyrim as well as well minecraft here and so that's one reason why i kind of also want to you know try to get into youtube ga uh, to youtube gaming because well it's the format that allows me most to get into shit you know, it's the format that I natively use, and it's a format that I can very easily plug into. Like, this is going to be available on my channel after streaming, which is probably going to be the only way that you all see this. And there's a... You know, and, and that's very simple for me to do. Unlike, say, something like Twitch, where you where there's very little in terms of archiving and that's why mainly i don't really prefer twitch i'm you know that's a, i know there's a big stigma against against youtube but uh, and i mean rightfully so they've uh, especially since the whole pl paid plan thing came out uh they've really been detestable and um, I suppose that's actually another good topic I can cover is whether or not this channel is going to continue in its current form on YouTube. Now, it's very early on to tell whether on even the fate of YouTube Red, as they've called it. Um, and if you ask me we might not even see see it stick around because it's just so absurdist of a service there's oh i'll see what do i want to put this as i think i'll put stone over here or materials column over here making sure of course that oh yep Um, you know, when it comes to YouTube Red, sorry about that. I'm, I'm not even sure it's going to stick around, especially with all the backlash it's getting. Don't get me wrong; I like some of the things that it promises. You know, original content is well. I mean, obviously, it's it's paid, which the biggest difference between the YouTube of yesteryear and the youtube that they're proposing is that there's some section that is there's some content that you have to pay for but if it's anything like who like hulu service or any of these other services that offer paid content from really credible content makers then i am actually rather curious to see how that goes like seeing like i know people don't like pewdiepie but seeing him go up against the fucking creators of the walking dead I, that's sort of that's sort of a fun sort of thing if you ask me like that that especially if you're getting the the creators of the walking dead on is probably a really good thing to have paid for uh same with some same with some of the other channel same with some of the other programming uh they, they were doing a thing with with the uh, game theorist and that's going to be interesting as hell to watch especially since the game theorist in general has a rather shoddy reputation from what i've seen you know i at least or at least in the groups that uh, speak of him in my experience they really dislike what, uh, his content and frankly i can understand why to a certain degree it's but again like as long as it's well researched we could be see we could be seeing a uh, some decent original programming where youtube red is kind of bullshit however is pretty much in everything else at least in my not so humble opinion and you know apart from paying to have a more efficient app which just strikes me as supremely odd the 
there are just cer there are just certain cer there are just certain areas that really do concern me as a content maker, including the idea that partnered channels are going to have their videos automatically set to private if they don't sign up for YouTube Red. Now I don't know how this affects un private uh, unmonetized channels. I know I'm never going to monetize my channel because <laughs> fuck it, I don't want to make my career on YouTube here. Um, and if I ever do, I want to put out you know better content than uh, the content that I do put out. I want to actually have some nice fucking video to go along with it. I want some actual nice content to go along with it. I, you know, not that the content I put, I don't feel that the content I put out is you know, good and all. I, it's just not some, it's just not something that people should be even worth it, you know, watching ads over. I, don't you know it's just kind of commentary videos over simplistic images and so what i'm trying to do currently at least is get into contact with people from youtube to see what happens to the fate of channels that are unmonetized that being channels like mine which are kind of hobbyists that don't necessarily uh accrue money because well we don't just fucking care about the money we aren't fucking pewdiepie or any of those people um but if the answer is that our channels don't uh you know, get views or that suddenly they're limited be and they adopt something similar to Facebook's you know, really bullshit methodology of, you know, you, you have to pay for your ads. You know, that isn't, I mean, I, I realize that that's whole, that's how ads work, but for smaller channels, uh, for smaller pages, that just doesn't work out well in our in any of our favors. So whether or not this channel continues to exist on YouTube is kind of a uh, depends on what they say. That being said, I if it does happen that I do have to switch, you know, it might just mean I switch to Twitch, and I try to do more gameplay heavy streams that just happen to also feature commentary. I know that that's a uh, kind of popular, at least popular in the sense that people are doing it and that people are watching it. Um, and I'd be totally open to doing that. Or I know there's several live streaming networks or, other video services that are also available. So it just all depends on, oh crap, I don't have enough area. Well, ha. Huh. Now it's time to get creative. Um, yeah, so oh, it's getting nighttime. So that's basically all about that the idea I have about that though is that like I said YouTube Red's not really going to go anywhere except for maybe the the uh, original programming and even then they might as well just sell that like they do they do the other movies on YouTube which all cost what like two dollars to rent at a time and Honestly, that would be fine. That would be actually preferable in uh, some cases because rather than trying to in, you know, force content creators to monetize, rather or rather 
rather than try and force you uh, YouTubers, partnered YouTubers to go red, it would allow them to focus on what the content, what content is actually worthy of putting it on a subscription fee. You know, it wouldn't be the bull, you know, it's not, it's not as bullshitty as, as trying to get everyone to link up to a shitty service that they might not even want. Um, but enough rambles on that point. And really just enough enough rambling in general. I'll watch back the footage, see if everything's okay. Uh, please do leave feedback. I can try and fix what I can. And if anyone... Oh, one thing I do have to mention is that in my current state, I really can't do a good job of capturing the one thing that I know I can't do because I've tried doing this before is capturing multiple voices. So, you know, I know, so Frozen Binary, for example, wants to do sort of a map, like a Minecraft map and realms. And I am actually on board with that project. I'm I believe I'm going to be trying to find a suitable habitat for our group to be in. And so I'm and so that's going to require some voice, you know, like multiple voice chats, like multiple uh unlike this where you're hearing where it's feeding directly from OBS or from my microphone to OBS to the and to the YouTube encoder, I'm going to need to find some way to actually put my voice, you know, to put my recording, my microphone through some sort of program that captures multiple voices and use that instead as my as my audio. So if anyone has uh, sort of tips or tricks how to do that. I would love the help in that case. And I, as usual, I can be reached through all my different social medias. And other than that, yeah, that's how things lay. I uh, kind of want to get a more solid foundation before I try anything really, really major. But in the future, if I can get good enough equipment, I can even try and expand past what I have. But that's a discussion for another day, and all things considering, I just hope this tests well. You all have a lovely day, and this has been Robert Stoll, Stoll Review.